Imagine this, hospitals overwhelmed, families scrambling for answers, and the eerie sense of deja vu as masks and lockdowns make an unwelcome comeback. A new villain is on the rise, one you've probably never heard of, HMPV or human metapneumovirus. But here's the terrifying truth. It's spreading fast and there's no vaccine, no targeted treatment, and no end in sight. Cases are climbing every day, pushing healthcare systems to their limits. Experts are already warning that this could be the next pandemic. The question is, are we ready for it? Stay with us, because in this video, we're diving into why HMPV might be our next big health crisis and what you need to do to stay safe. Human metapneumovirus is part of the pneumoviridae family of viruses, the same family as respiratory syncytial virus, RSV. First identified in 2001 by researchers in the Netherlands, HMPV has actually been around for decades, quietly circulating among humans. It's found all over the world and is a common cause of upper respiratory infections, which most people recognize as the common cold. While it typically causes mild illness, certain groups are at higher risk of severe disease. HMPV spreads just like other respiratory viruses through infectious respiratory droplets. If someone with HMPV coughs or sneezes near you, tiny droplets carrying the virus can enter your body through your nose, mouth, or eyes. The virus can also linger on surfaces like doorknobs and handles. Touching these contaminated surfaces and then touching your face can lead to infection. Most cases of HMPV occur in late winter and spring in temperate climates, coinciding with flu season and RSV outbreaks. However, the virus doesn't take a vacation. It continues to spread at lower levels throughout the year, causing occasional illnesses. HMPV symptoms can look a lot like the flu or a bad cold. Here's what to watch for cough, fever, sore throat, runny or stuffy nose, body aches, headache. In most people, these symptoms are mild and resolve within a few days. However, in some cases, HMPV can lead to more severe respiratory illnesses, such as pneumonia or bronchitis. Severe symptoms include wheezing, difficulty breathing, chest pain, dizziness, severe fatigue, persistent fever. If you or someone you know experiences these severe symptoms, it's essential to seek medical attention promptly. While anyone can catch HMPV, some groups are more vulnerable to severe illness, such as infants and young children, especially those under five years old, older adults, people with weakened immune systems, individuals with chronic conditions like asthma or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD. For these at-risk groups, HMPV can be more than just an inconvenience it can lead to serious complications and even hospitalization. Diagnosing HMPV can be tricky because its symptoms overlap with other respiratory illnesses like COVID-19, the flu, and RSV. The most reliable way to identify HMPV is through a polymerase chain reaction, PCR test, which can deliver accurate results within a few hours. For most people, HMPV isn't a significant threat it's usually a self-limiting illness that resolves within a week. However, for those in high-risk groups, it can lead to severe respiratory complications. Reports from countries like China and India have shown a rise in HMPV cases, prompting health authorities to monitor the situation closely. While severe cases are rare, the sheer number of infections can strain healthcare systems as seen during other respiratory virus outbreaks. In many countries of the Northern Hemisphere, trends in acute respiratory infections increase at this time of year. These increases are typically caused by seasonal epidemics of respiratory pathogens, such as seasonal influenza, RSV, and other common respiratory viruses, including HMPV, as well as mycoplasma pneumonia. The co-circulation of multiple respiratory pathogens during the winter season can sometimes cause an increased burden on healthcare systems treating sick persons. Currently, in some countries in the temperate northern hemisphere, influenza-like illness or acute respiratory infection rates have increased in recent weeks and are above baseline levels, following usual seasonal trends. 
Influenza activity is elevated in many countries in Europe, Central America, and the Caribbean, Western Africa, Middle Africa, and many countries across Asia. Meanwhile, RSV activity trends vary by region, with upward trends in North America, but decreases in Europe and most of the Americas. Surveillance data shows that HMPV activity follows similar patterns, with increased reports in the Northern Hemisphere typical for this time of year. Preventing HMPV is similar to preventing other respiratory illnesses. Here's what you can do. Wear a mask. In crowded or poorly ventilated spaces, wearing a mask can reduce your risk of inhaling infectious droplets. Maintain good hand hygiene. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Avoid touching your face. Your eyes, nose, and mouth are gateways for the virus to enter your body. Improve ventilation. Open windows or use air purifiers to ensure better airflow in shared spaces. Stay home if you're sick. Avoid spreading the virus to others by staying home when you feel unwell. Disinfect surfaces. Regularly clean frequently touched surfaces like doorknobs, light switches, and phones. A strong immune system also plays a crucial role in fighting off infections. Eating a balanced diet, staying active, and getting enough sleep can help keep your immune defenses strong. Currently, there is no vaccine or specific antiviral treatment for HMPV. Most people manage their symptoms with over-the-counter medications for fever, pain, and congestion. Resting and staying hydrated are also critical for recovery. For severe cases, particularly in high-risk individuals, hospitalization may be necessary. Doctors may provide supplemental oxygen or other supportive treatments to help patients recover. If you or someone you know experiences worsening symptoms, it's essential to consult a healthcare provider. One of the challenges with respiratory viruses is that they often look alike. HMPV, COVID-19, influenza, and RSV all cause similar symptoms, including fever, cough, and congestion. However, treatment options differ. For example, COVID-19 and influenza have specific antiviral treatments, while HMPV does not. This is why diagnostic testing is crucial in severe cases or for people at high risk of complications. Knowing which virus is causing the illness helps doctors provide the best care possible. So, is HMPV the next big health threat? The answer is probably yes. It's important to stay informed and cautious. HMPV does appear to be as severe or widespread as COVID-19. Experts believe that the risk of a global HMPV outbreak is high. We've learned from past experiences not to underestimate viruses. Taking simple preventive measures and staying vigilant can go a long way in protecting yourself and your loved ones. If you found this video helpful, share it with your friends and family to spread awareness. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more health updates and tips. Together, we can stay ahead of the curve and build a healthier future. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.